Hi there. Hope you are all very well today. So I will show you how to use HTML email template in Gmail. This is our HTML email template for today. And to use it in Gmail, you have to open it on Firefox. You can open it on Google Chrome as well, but that will add underlines to the links. These are the links. Uh, Google Chrome can add underlines to the links. So to avoid that, please use the Firefox browser. After opening it, press Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy it. And if you are on a Mac, press Command A and Command C to copy it. After that, go to Gmail, Compose, give it a address, give it a subject and paste it here. You see my template is here and you can simply send it. And you say I received it and the template is totally fine as expected. So how to save this design as a template? If you see the composer, there is no template option currently because by default the template option is disabled from Gmail setting. You have to enable it. Go to setting. Go to view all setting and advanced and then templates enabled click save changes now you can uh, save the design as a template so you don't have to upload it all the time you send a new email let's repeat the process of uploading copy the template go to composer Paste it here, click the three dots here and here is the template menu came up and you can save this draft as a template. You can save it as a new template. And then whenever you want to send a new email, go to compose go to templates and select your template from here i want to share some limitations with you for gmail gmail can send only fixed with emails this email is mobile responsive That's, that means this email is not a fixed with email how it should look like on mobile it will start itself for mobile and look like this if you send it from a pro platform like mailchimp campaign monitor UTC, it will look like this and it will be well readable in mobile but if you send a fixed with email, that means this one, then it, this text can look little smaller in mobile and not well readable. If you send it from Gmail, it will go as fixed with and the readability can be a little hampered. Limitation number two, can send the media queries. This template contains media queries which is responsible for responsive output in mobiles that means the resized output you see. This is the media query part. This is the media query part. So if you send it from Gmail, the media query is removed and all header CSS is removed. So uh, Gmail will not be able to send a template with the media queries. It will uh, simply remove it and send a fix to it email. Limitation number three, can't see the campaign statistics and reports. If you send your email campaign with campaign monitor, MailChimp or any other pro platforms, you will see a statistics and report. The report is as detailed as required. 
like you see the open clicks and who clicks who open who bounced and who have subscribed and everything else you can see and which links they clicked everything you can track if you send it from a email platform like MailChimp or campaign mode or some, something else but in gmail you will not be able to see such reports limitation number four can't send mass email without any third party software you cannot send mass emails without uh, third party software like gmass uh, so uh, gmail is fine for one by one or a little uh, more like five six emails at a time but not the massive email campaigns like 1k 2k or more so you have to keep in mind that before using gmail to send your rest of an email limitation number five you can't define the mobile layout as i already shown how it looks like on mobile if uh, you use media query and you can define the mobile layout like this or as you want if you want to make this bigger in mobile or smaller or change the color or something else suppose you want to uh, you don't want to show this part in mobile that you can't handle with gmail you have to use any pro color forms like MailChimp campaign monitor we'll see so uh, that's for now let me know if you have any questions you can comment and email us at any time with your questions and for in the next video i will show you how to use a letterhead with gmail if you like you can subscribe to my channel and get you updated with next videos that's it for now thank you